Hi everyone, are you all right? When I travel, people often ask what kind of people we British are, what you can do or can't do when visiting the UK. It's always difficult to generalize. As you know, all people are different regardless of their nationality. However, there are a few stereotypes about British people and some of them are actually quite true. We have the reputation of being very polite people, sometimes even too polite. Walking down the street, you'll hear please, excuse me, thank you or cheers, a common phrase here, every five minutes. Since we're polite, we always queue, for example, when we are waiting at the bus stop. But if you jump a queue, nobody will make a remark, again, because of the excess politeness, but you will definitely attract several disapproving glances. People might even discuss your rude behavior later when they get off. So, all that is left is to wait patiently for your turn. Meanwhile, you can have a small talk about the weather. We simply love discussing the weather. We tend to complain about it all the time, though. It's either freezing and rainy, which doesn't make us happy, or when the sun comes out, we complain that it's too boiling hot. You never hear a British person saying that the weather is nice. However, don't expect to have long conversations with strangers, especially in big cities. British people are quite reserved and they value their privacy too much. On the contrary, the further you go into the British countryside, the more talkative people become. Sometimes you can spend hours talking to a complete stranger. Although we are reserved, don't get too surprised if people whom you barely know call you love, dear or darling. Another thing, never understand anything British people say too literally. If somebody tells you to drop in anytime you want, you still should call them before visiting. In general, it's rude to come over without an invitation, but if you were invited to a dinner or party, never come empty-handed. You are expected to bring along a box of chocolates or a good bottle of wine for the host. One very important thing that a lot of foreigners find really confusing is all of the names for the country and its people. I'm sure you're well aware of geographical distinctions in the country, that is, its four parts – England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The word British denotes all people who live in the UK. But there are also four different words to refer to those who live in each of the country's parts. As the result, we have English for England, Scottish for Scotland, Welsh for Wales, and Northern Irish for Northern Ireland. Never call a person from, let's say, Scotland, English. They will find it very insulting. As for symbols of the country, ask anyone and they will tell you that the UK is mainly associated with four things. First are the red telephone boxes that you can find everywhere around the country. If you look closer, you'll see that they have little crowns on top with royal initials. Second are red double-deckers. Although double-deckers have become the symbol of the whole country, in fact, you can come across them mostly in London. In other parts of the country, they are usually other colors. Third are black cabs. Streets, mostly in big cities, are full of them. Although they look nice, they aren't the best means of transport, as they're much more expensive than regular taxis. Last but not least, the iconic food of the country is certainly fish and chips. The dish appeared as cheap takeaway food, but thanks to its popularity nowadays, you can buy it even in pubs and restaurants. It seems I've told you about the most widespread stereotypes about the UK. What about you? 
What is your country famous for? What is special about mentality in your country? Share your answers with us in the chat.